Today, tonight, at least 20 people have been killed in what's been reported as a possible suicide blast. At a concert in Manchester, 50 injured. There probably will be more fatalities, more dead by the time you watch this. UK authorities say that the incident, the attack, was probably a suicide bomber with a backpack bomb, possibly filled with nails. People have been treated for shrapnel-like injuries. Some people say there were two explosions. And there have been reports of controlled explosions since. It is, of course, currently being treated as a terrorist attack. And you can see the video footage online Thousands are screaming and fleeing in tears from a venue where they had been singing along and dancing as people are covered head to toe in blood and body parts. I would imagine that the injuries are going to go up from here as well. So... After the concert, or just as the concert was ending, there was a boom. It caught people as they exited. And of course, if it was outside the arena as people were leaving, then of course, security doesn't help you much now, does it? Because you see, here was the problem. Here was the problem for certain twisted ideologies that infest and infect this world. You see... What happened was people were out there at this concert having fun, enjoying themselves. The bass sensed pleasures of music and dancing and sing-alongs. They were enjoying a performer. They were enjoying the performance. They were enjoying the music. And we can't have any of that, can we, for some people? No fun to be had. Well, London Mayor Sadiq Khan warned Londoners Ah, he said, terrorist attacks are just part and parcel of living in a big city. Really. This is basically a children's concert. This is Ariana Grande. She appeals to the younger set. What if it was your kids, Sadiq? Your kids being assembled to be identified, being carted out in body bags with nails being driven through their eye sockets and limbs being blown off. Is that just part and parcel of living in a big city? You've got security. You've got bodyguards. You're safe. Are you going to be so blasé if it's your kids? And now, the usual response is occurring. Now everyone's trying to help. God bless them. I think it's wonderful that they're trying to help, offering up places to stay, offering to look for people, offering to put people in contact with other people. Great. I love that people do that. I'd love it even more if they did that just a little bit ahead of time. It's one thing to respond to this kind of murderous attack. It's another thing to work intelligently to prevent these things from happening. I'd rather people not be brave in the face of disaster, but show a different kind of courage before disaster, the kind of courage that can prevent this kind of stuff from happening over and over and over again. And tomorrow, the speeches will come. We are not going to let this change our way of life. We are not going to let this change who we are. Lies. We're not going to change. Of course you are. Of course you are. French women can't be seen in certain areas. Can't be seen. They're home like they were in Saudi Arabia. They don't dare walk out their houses. Multicultural house arrest is real for a lot of people in Europe. Of course you're going to change. Of course you are. That's why people do it. It changes your mindset. It changes your sense of security. It changes your sense of safety, of identity. It makes you jumpy. It makes you nervous. 
And for sure, people will stop going to concerts because of fears like this. Of course, people change what they do when this stuff happens. That's why it happens. Children in Britain not doing that well in many ways. Got masses of these pedophile grooming gangs roaming around, raping the children, passing them around like party favors. Kids being attacked in their schools. And now, if some of these reports are true, nail bombs being driven into their broken bodies. And now comes the sentimentality aspect of these things. People who won't lift a finger to challenge existing decisions now will change the flags on their avatars. Pray for Birmingham. No! No. Everyone offering help after the fact. Great. But that's not the kind of courage that is needed at the moment. I grew up in the UK. And back in the day, Europe could have had it made after two brutal world wars. Nuclear weapons, mutually assured destruction. Europe could have had it made. Europe could have been utopia. Europe could have continued to be what it was about when I was growing up, about culture and art, beauty, sculpture, movie, science, literature, philosophy. That's what Europe used to be about. What is it about now? It's about gritting your teeth, checking your news feed, waiting for the next set of flying body parts. Why? Because of very specific decisions made by your leaders and supported by you in conversation. The first responders are brave and save lives. And thank God for them. But we need the pre-responders who avoid this kind of stuff. Conversations you have with people about the decisions being made. Every decision that was made can be redecided, can be undone. For God's sakes, stop being passive. Nothing is inevitable. I know. There are difficult topics to talk about. I know people might look at you funny. You might be criticized. You might be ostracized. You might be rejected. You might get into some social trouble. But British people, they're not just British people. It's a choice. It's a very stark choice easier choices than your forefathers had. Do you want to be popular? Or do you want to live? <laughs>